Shout out to all my African players out there. A lot of my African players, they've been sending me emails. My African players are, are disciplined with their shit. They stay on top of their game. And I'm, I'm going to go into Africa in a couple of months. I'm going to probably go to Ghana or South Africa. My African players are on top of their shit. They're very disciplined. See, that's why a lot of American sisters don't like African dudes. Because African dudes, they're very structural. They 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 believe in the, the man being on top. They, they, they don't play that matriarchal in the relationship shit where the woman is running them. So a lot of American black women, y'all don't like dealing with them African dudes. Well, one reason African dudes will whoop your damn ass. A lot of you sisters out here in America, you can't talk that slick shit to one of them African cats. Them African cats will get smooth off in your ass. Real quick, you come home to an African ass whooping. You be like, what? he's choking you and shit. Ah, Mufasa, why are you choking me, Mufasa? He going off on your ass. Who is that nigga you were text messaging? Who is that nigga you were text messaging? Ah. Stop choking me, Mufasa. I wasn't text messaging nobody. You a goddamn liar. Who's that nigga you were text messaging? Why are you hitting me in my ears, Mufasa? Stop it. You know, y'all sisters know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all sisters been abused by an African boyfriend. Stop pulling my hair, Mufasa. Who's that nigga you were text messaging? I'm going to call the police on you, Mufasa. You can't call the police on no African dude. That shit don't work. African dude don't give a shit about you calling the police on them. You be on the phone. 911. <laughs> I need to report domestic violence. Stop choking me, Mufasa. 911 operator, how can I help you? That my ex-boyfriend is choking me right now. He's doing African jiu-jitsu on me. Somebody sent something. Get, who is that on the phone right now? Who is that on the phone? He'll get on the phone with the cops and threaten the cops. Who is this on the phone? This is 911 operator. Do you want a piece of this? Do you want a piece of this? <laughs> the African, you know what? African dudes never go to jail. African dudes, I never seen them go to jail. They have all types of political connections because I've never seen an African dude from Africa get arrested. They be on the phone talking shit to the cops. I have diplomatic immunity. I can whoop ass anytime I feel. <laughs> But I digress. Shout out to all my African players. I'm not saying all my African players are abusive. I'm not saying that. But y'all don't fuck with them African dudes. Nah, well, <laughs> Mufasa, done, he done hit me in my ears. He done pulled my tracks out. Can you spell his name yet? Mufasa Chekwele. I don't know how to spell it, but just come get this nigga up off me. Who is that nigga? <laughs> anyway, but I digress. Are we ready to get into some game? I've been bullshit. Let's get into some game. All right. We're going to get into some game right now. Today's show, like I said, we're going to talk about weak gay macking, macking throughout the week. All right. So this is what I want my players to do. This is like an assignment. I want you guys to set aside at least one week for some hardcore macking, just one strong week for some real good macking. Because see, a lot of guys go out periodically. They might go out all the time. They might not go out at all, but what you should do, you and your buddy should set aside one week, at least one week out of the month, and just do some hardcore game spitting, hardcore strategic macking for one week. And you should plan your whole day out like this, because you have to understand the importance of certain days. See, some game works better on some days than others. See, a lot of guys just stick with the weekend to go out and that's pretty much it. But you got to utilize every day of the week because it's very important to understand how every day of the week can help you get your game crisp. Now, we're going to start off with Friday. We're going to start off with Friday. Now, truth be told about Friday night, Friday night is really not the best macking night. Now, I'm not saying throw Friday night out the window. But Friday night is really not the best night for Mackin. Like for me personally, Friday night has never been my night. I've never, every blue moon I might have a cool Friday night, but me going out on Friday, Friday was just not my night. Friday has always just been an off night for me and it's an off night for a lot of players. But again, I'm not saying that you can't. Now there's some, some players that do good on Friday night, but generally Friday night is not the best night for Mackin. And let me tell you why. Now, Friday night, or Friday in general, that's what everybody gets paid. 
all the girls get paid a lot of people get paid everybody gets their money on so they're excited so friday girls get off work they go get a new outfit real quick go get together go get their hair together they get into what i call cinderella diva mode on friday a lot of women have been chilling throughout the week now they've gotten themselves all done up and now they got to have this attitude to go with it so now they're in this diva mode and they're really in the mood for getting a lot of attention so a lot of women go to attention whore spots where they know a lot of dudes will sweat them they're not really looking for quality friday night women are looking for quantity they just want a bunch of people looking at them because all throughout the week they were real low-key now it's like this is their performance day friday is a performance day you feel me also what what messes up a friday friday all the trick niggas and all the thirsty dudes they've gotten paid so they're out tricking like crazy on friday night friday night is a real big tricking night so friday night you got a bunch of cupcakes simps and tricks buying drinks like crazy because they got a pocket full of money and they're out here making it rain they're showing out with their money that the check that they just cashed so if you got some real good macking in you that's a lot to compete with you gotta weed out all the attention females then you have to compete with a bunch of simps and tricks so friday night is real 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 iffy and again i'm not saying that you can't put no good game down because it can happen but you just have to keep in mind that there's a lot to to deal with so keeping that in mind what you should do on a friday you should go to a real laid back back spot on friday you should go to like a jazz club a bar or a lounge somewhere that's real that has a laid back vibe something that has a real party vibe is just going to be a bunch of attention whores and tricks so you don't want to waste your time on that so Friday night, my players, we're going to go to a laid back spot, go to a poetry reading, something real laid back. Got it? Now that's Friday night. Go to a salsa club, something, something real laid back. Salsa clubs, they're fun, but they're laid back because people have an agenda, which is to do the goddamn salsa. So the vibe is a little more fun and you can put some good game down, but don't go to one of the real, real jumping spots where there's a bunch of attention freaks and all that now let's go to saturday now saturday is a tension whore night times 10 because now women have had all day to get dolled up they had all day to go to the the mall they didn't picked out two or three outfits to decide from a lot of women have they gotten their nails done they have gotten their hair done so now they're really dolled up and now they've gotten all their buddies so it's a whole bunch of them going out that's when women go out in bunches on saturdays now they have their crew with them so you can use that to your advantage i'm going to get on that a little bit later so now saturday night all the clubs are packed but the thing is you have a bunch of women in a pack and they try to compete with one another subconsciously so you use that to your advantage so that gives you an edge so to speak because there's still going to be a bunch of tricks and simps out but you have more women to go around so now it's a numbers game there's a lot more women that's out on saturday night especially running in packs now on a saturday night again you don't take it too too seriously because there's a lot of that bullshit attention whoring going on so what you should do players on saturday night you should have at least three clubs lined up saturday night have at least three different clubs lined up that you can go to because again it's like playing craps in vegas you put your a number of bets on the table so if you lose one bet you have this other bet that you can make money off of so it's a numbers game it's an energy game it's a vibe game so if you go to one club too many attention whores you leave that club and go to another spot if the women are not cooperative you go to another spot and i can almost guarantee you that you're going to get some good energy out of one of those spots so saturday night is club hopping night you gotta club hop because a lot of attention whores a lot of tricks a lot of packs of girls out there so you gotta move around a little bit saturday night now let's take it to sunday 
Now, Sunday is a little better because, see, Sunday, a lot of girls spend time with their families. A lot of girls spend time going to church in the daytime. So they come down off their diva high. They're coming down off the Cinderella high. They become a little more grounded on Sunday. So now they're, they're getting their minds right a little bit, but they still want to get their club on because, you know, they didn't kick it with their family. They got one more night. They got to go to work the next day. So they want to get their little club on one more night. Also, it's Sunday night. They know this is the last night of the weekend, so they might be a little more selective in finding a dude with some good game. So Sunday night, which has always been one of my best nights, Sunday night is that's my shit. I'm a beast on Sunday. I'm a Sunday Mac all day. I've done very well on Sunday nights because Sunday nights, the girls are looking for some real good game. Now they're looking for some decent conversation because, you know, women wait till the last minute to kind of cram for the test. So they wait to Sunday night to get some real good game from a dude because they've gotten all the attention Friday and Saturday night. They've had all the simps buy drinks and talk whack bullshit to them. Now they want to hear some good shit. They want to hear some good game. So Sunday night is perfect for that. So when all the knuckleheads step to women, they kind of brush those knuckleheads off on Sunday. So they're looking for quality on Sunday. And you, if you've been listening to the show and studying the game, you're supposed to have quality game. Got it? Now, remember, Saturday, Sunday, and Friday, you're passing out a lot of cards when you're talking to women. You're passing your cards out. You're campaigning very heavy, heavily. You're being courteous. You're doing a lot of grenade macking. You're stepping to different girls in the club, hitting them off with your card, exchanging numbers. And Sunday night, you're doing a lot of this as well. Now, when Monday comes around, Monday is a choosing day. This is what you do. Fellas, never call women on Monday. Listen to what I'm saying, players, you never call women on Monday because Monday you let the women call you. If they call you, everything is all gravy, but you never call women on Monday because on Monday, all the other simps that these women have met, they're blowing the women's phones up. All the simps and the tricks, they are lighting these girls' phones up on Monday. So you don't want to even be in that bunch. So you're going to chill unless the woman calls you. And, and trust, women give their numbers out nonchalantly to different simp-ass dudes. There's probably some dudes that have bought them drinks. So they they feel like, okay, it's a polite thing to give this motherfucker my number. But they don't take those guys seriously. Also, Monday, a lot of girls are, are, are coming off their weekend diva club high. A lot of them are still bragging about how many dudes they met. They're bragging about how much fun they had. They're bragging about how many guys were sweating them. So you got to let them come down off that club diva high on Monday. Now, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, these are the best days. Because Tuesdays and Wednesdays, that's when women are back into normal mode. You got it? Now, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, she's out of that whole diva mindset. Now she's back at work. She's back at school. So now reality has set in. So now her mind is back to normal. Her mind is right. See, a lot of these women, they've sweated out their little hairdos that they got for the weekend. A lot of their nails are chipped. So they're not on top of their game 100%. That doesn't mean that they're not fly, but they're not all as dolled up on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Women are very laid back. They got the hair pulled back. They're not wearing as much makeup. So everything is very normal. So it's best to step to women when they're in normal mode. Because their minds are right then. Also, Tuesdays and Wednesdays are best times to go out on like lunch dates or dinner dates with women. So if you are going to call a woman, which is cool. Me personally, I don't like calling women, but I, I let them call me. But if you are going to call a woman, you definitely do it on Tuesday or Wednesday. And then you set up a time to hook up either that night or the next night. You don't want to set up a date for her on the weekend. Don't do that. You want to hook up with her that Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday night. Let her do a weekend thing. Because again, weekend is attention whore time. But if you hook up with a woman, try to do it on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Because they're going to be more cooperative on a Tuesday or Wednesday. They're real cool on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Now our last day, Thursday, if you're not on a date with a woman, which... Again, that's what your objective is to do, to set up a date Tuesday or Wednesday for a Thursday night. Now, if you don't have a date set up, you use Thursday for some daytime macking. 
you have to start spitting game at girls at in their everyday settings. You got to start hitting up the girls at the gym. You got to start going to the supermarkets and putting your game down. Thursday, girls are still in regular everyday mode and you have to utilize that to your advantage. Start hitting up, go to um, different corporate places where they have lunch breaks. Start spitting at girls on, on lunch hour. Like if you go downtown to any metropolitan city or any place in the country, at around 12 to 1 or to 12 to 2 o'clock, you see a lot of women out going on their lunch break. You start hitting their asses up. Hit them up at gas stations. Hit them up at the mall. Hit them up at the Walmarts. Hit them up at the damn Jamba Juice or Target or wherever they are, but do a lot of daytime Mac and holler at the girls in their everyday normal settings. Exchange numbers with them chop up game with them and set up dates for that night or the Monday or Tuesday of next week. You got it? So that's how you use your game throughout the week. That's how you should have some tight, straight lace weekday macking going on. So you guys remember all that. Put that into your repertoire and remember weekday macking is some of the best macking you can do. The weekend is really for just practice. The weekend is a practice session. Your strongest macking is going to be shit from Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's your strongest macking day. So keep that in mind, players. All right. Anyway, y'all, that's been today's episode of the Mac Lessons. Stop, stop choking me, Mufasa. I wasn't text messaging nobody. You a goddamn liar. Who's that nigga? You a text messaging? Why you hit me in my ears, Mufasa? Stop it. You know, y'all sisters know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all sisters been abused by an African boyfriend. Stop pulling my hair, Mufasa. Who is that nigga? You a text messaging? I'm going to call the police on you, Mufasa. You can't call the police on no African dude. That shit don't work. African dude don't give a shit about you calling the police on them. You be on the phone. 911. <laughs> so a lot of American black women, y'all don't like dealing with them African dudes. Well, one reason African dudes will whoop your damn ass. A lot of you sisters out here in America, you can't talk that slick shit to one of them African cats. Them African cats will get smooth off in your ass. Real quick, you come home to an African ass whooping. You be like, what the hell? He's choking you and shit. Ah! Mufasa, why are you choking me, Mufasa? He going off on your ass. Who is that nigga? You a text messaging. Who is that nigga? You a text messaging. Ah! Shout out to all my African players out there. A lot of my African players, they've been sending me emails. My African players are, are disciplined with their shit. They stay on top of their game. And I'm, I'm going to go on to Africa in a couple of months. I'm going to probably go to Ghana or South Africa. My African players are on top of their shit. They're very disciplined. See, that's why a lot of American sisters don't like African dudes. Because African dudes, they're very structural. They 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 believe in the, the man being on top. They, they, they don't play that matriarchal in the relationship shit where the woman is running them. Cold connections. Because I've never seen an African dude from Africa get arrested. They be on the phone talking shit to the cops. I have diplomatic immunity. I can whoop ass anytime I feel. <laughs> But I digress. Shout out to all my African players. I'm not saying all my African players are abusive. I'm not saying that. But y'all don't fuck with them African dudes. Nah, well, <laughs> Mufasa, done, he done hit me in my ears. He done pulled my tracks out. Can you spell his name yet? Mufasa Chekwele. I don't know how to spell it, but just come get this. <laughs> I need to report domestic violence. Stop choking me, Mufasa. 911 operator, how can I help you? That my ex boyfriend is choking me right now. He's doing African Jiu Jitsu on me. Somebody said something. Who is that on the phone right now? Who is that on the phone? He'll get on the phone with the cops and threaten the cops. Who is this on the phone? This is 911 operator. Do you want a piece of this? Do you want a piece of this? <laughs> yeah, African, you know what? African dudes never go to jail. African dudes, I never seen them go to jail. They have all types of political.